of information every second. It is one of nature's greatest marvels. But for all its speed and brilliance, your brain isn't perfect. In fact, it's surprisingly easy to trick, to manipulate. You're now inside a simulation chamber built to replicate the way humans experience sound. Because these sounds emulate human hearing, we may be able to trick your brain into responding to them on a physiological level. With your eyes closed, you can use your ears to try and picture the scene around you. of my breath. Now, let's try this. Imagine the girl in your room picking up a hairdryer to use on you. Can you feel the warmness of the hairdryer? Inside your inner ear's sensory system are tiny hairs, which are called stereocilia. These hairs are a crucial part of your ability to hear sounds. If these hairs are damaged, they never grow back. This is why humans lose their ability to hear as they age or if they are regularly exposed to loud sounds. As I've been telling you all this, I've been simulating what it would feel like to slowly lose your stereocilia until eventually. Your brain tells you the music is in the next room because lower frequencies have longer wavelengths. These longer wavelengths can more easily cause a wall to vibrate and transmit sound to the other side. That's the same reason if I dunked your head underwater. Your brain has become finely attuned to certain sounds that signal danger or safety. Or in more recent modern times, dopamine. Have you ever had an auditory hallucination before? Humans with 
with schizophrenia report these voices have realistic qualities like volume, direction, or even spatial distance. Would you like to experience it? Remember what the voices tell you. She's watching. I'm going to test you. Don't even here. Everyone thinks her house is watching. You're the first employee here. Look. Everybody knows it. Now she's typing. She just get up and walk out. She's definitely All right, lads. Have you had a chance to look at that email I sent you yet? Got to get this all done and dusted before lunch. Remember this. Are you okay? You look a little distracted. Well, me and some of the boys are going out for a pint after work, if you fancy it. She sent him to you. Are you sure you're okay? All right, I'll catch you in a bit. That's a secret. She's gone. All right, Johnny boy. One of the voices told you something. Let's see if it filtered into your brain. Could you tell me exactly how many apples there are? No? Well, if you can't, that's completely normal. It's extremely difficult for the human brain to process all of the voices at once, which illustrates its limitations. Think of your brain like a sponge, soaking in all the liquid around it. Have you heard of the word neuroplasticity? It's the ability your brain possesses to rewire itself based on repeated thoughts, behaviors, and experiences. What if you were exposed to the same repeated thought over and over again against your will and this thought maybe wasn't in your best interest. And in control, we have a major malfunction in simulation room 12. Need immediate assistance over... All right, help's on the way. Do you think they're awake? Nah, man, I don't think so. Think we got most of the data we need anyway. Turn them off. Roger that, turn it.